Hey, welcome everybody. Happy Saturday, November 5th, 2022. The Lord bless you all. Welcome back to Love Has a Name YouTube channel. My name is Brother Brian and I am just full of joy. Perhaps it's because I'm, I'm not working and I can just relax and do other things. Um, or maybe it's the coffee I just had. I don't know. Hallelujah. Either way, I welcome the joy of the Lord and I bring it forth here as well that you may receive a portion of that joy as well. May your cups be full. May you be blessed by this video. However, it is that the Lord will lead us. Amen. So uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you at the very least two, maybe three, depending on how things flow, at least two prophetic words from prophetess Donna Rigney, whom we all love very, very much. And so uh, we're going to start with October 14th, 2022. All right, so let's pray and we will get started. Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you, Father, for we are in a mighty month of transition. And Father, sometimes the number 11 speaks of transition. So how fitting that we are in the 11th month, November. And you have spoken, Father, to me that November shall be pivotal. You have even confirmed this through Amanda Grace already. Praise the Lord. You've confirmed it through Julie Green already. Praise the Lord. <coughs> ah, Father, and there's one more. Quicken me, Father. Remind me, who was it also who has spoken it? It was a man. <coughs> Uh, no, Father, nah, no, not Tim Sheets. Ha, roba se teke. Thank you, Lord. Yes, it was Mina, Mina Atia, Ivan's husband, who spoke it, Father. Three confirmations. Praise your holy name. <coughs> we alone know that you are faithful and you will accomplish everything you have spoken. Though we don't know the plans exactly, though we don't know the events or the order, other than what you show us, Father, we thank you. We trust you. We just want to say, Father, we trust you. I trust you. Come on, guys. Say it. Say it to the Lord. Let him hear you from your heart. Father, Jesus, Holy Spirit, I trust you. You've got this. Thank you, Father, for we shall see the deliverance of this nation of America and the nations of the world. We believe your words. We believe your prophets. We believe your messages, Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. We invite you now. Thank you for your presence and your heat, which is coming forth now. Thank you for the tangible transference of the Holy Spirit in the presence of God unto the people, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Whoa. Blessed be your name, Father. In Jesus' name, we dedicate this video to you. Amen and amen. Ooh, thank you for the blood, O oh Lord. Thank you for the blood. All right. October 14th, 2022. This one has a subheader, Under the Shelter of the Almighty. A few weeks later, Donna says, October 14th, 2022. I heard the Father declare, declare, Few know us. Speaking of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, that is the Trinity. Few know us or walk under our shadow. And that is why you see so much suffering and lack. My children's enemies have free access to their lives and their land, only abiding in us, only walking in our shadow, affords the protection and provision each one needs for a full, satisfying life. Encourage my children to do just that to abide in us and walk in our ways. Our delight is to bless, to protect, and to provide all our children need, all our children need for a full, happy life. Encouraging me to help his children get to know him he said we will help you to do this to bring awareness of us and our love to our children not only will our love and glory pour forth from you but an, an anointing to facilitate intimacy with us 
is yours. Mm. I would not ask you to do anything without first equipping you with all you need to bring it about. Easily will my children receive the anointing for intimacy with us. Easily will my children receive the anointing for intimacy with us when you minister in any format. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the Lord is speaking this a personal word to Donna Rigney when she ministers, which is awesome that she's been blessed in this way. Notice how we are to rejoice in God and what he does for others. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to emphasize this for a moment. This is another secret of something that in my life I have done naturally. Uh, and I didn't really, I didn't really know. I didn't, I don't think I really learned it from someone else. It's just something that the Lord worked in me. And then later on, and he seems like he's, seems like he's done this many, many times. He's caused me to reflect and realize that I had been doing this by his grace without knowing and yet it had been something that has really established me in my faith and why I'm not, I am not easily shaken. And I give the glory to God for that. So what is this key principle? What is this gem? What is this jewel of God? This golden nugget? <clears throat> it is genuinely rejoicing and being joyful for what God does in the lives of others. When you do this, you fill God with such delight because you are choosing not to complain, not to gripe, not to be jealous, not to murmur, not to criticize. You are choosing to rejoice in your brother and sister in Christ, whether you know them personally or not. And because you do that, you open yourself up wide when the timing is right, and only God knows that, for God to pour out his blessing upon you in the same way, or even in other ways, simply because you postured yourself, you made the choice to say, wow, God, thank you for doing this for them. Now, listen, I do this. I get excited for what God does for Manuel Johnson, Donna Rigney, Hank Kuneman, Robin Bullock, Steve Schultz, Kevin Zadai, Krista Elisha, uh, and these are liter leaders in, in the um, season leaders, all right? Now, when I watch videos of deliverances, people getting delivered that I don't even know, I rejoice. Most of the time, I'm in tears, full of joy and gratitude because God set someone free and I don't have to know them. Do you realize that by doing this, you are expressing humility? meekness. You are allowing the Lord to keep your heart soft, compassionate, full of love, full of gratitude. Oh my Lord, if I can just emphasize this more unto you all, if you will get this, this will alter, this will transform your walk with God, which will transform your life. Because Things around you will not affect you in a negative way because you choose to keep a soft heart. And when you have a soft heart, when you choose to see through the eyes of love, feel through God's love in you and be sensitive to him and you choose gratitude instead of complaining, you choose joy instead of despair and so forth. The more you do this, it becomes naturally supernatural in you. And then you just walk and abide in this realm and because of that, you attract more and more the presence of God, the blessing of God, the favor of God. And if you have ever been blessed for whatever reason in, in something that you've seen in me or whatnot, well, I'm trying to teach you right now and break it down for you. One of the other, one of the things that God has done in my life to bring me to where I am. I don't have to be well known to be um, well known to the world to be experiencing a close relationship with the Lord. I'm sure many of you also have a close relationship with the Lord and you may not be out there well known. And maybe in time you will be, maybe in time I will be, maybe in time you won't be, maybe in time I won't be. It doesn't matter. What matters is you do your 
job well before God. Your destiny, your calling, you fulfill it to the max. So I pray you're getting this. Let me know in the comments if you're getting this. If this is really, this is a way of to renew your mind. And, and you step away and separate yourself from being a carnal Christian unto a mature child, servant, follower, lover of Jesus Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. <clears throat> All right, let's finish this one. Thank you, Lord, for that. I, I feel the presence of God strongly on that. Oof. I knew the Father was not only releasing, releasing me, but also equipping me to help his children become more intimate with him. Confirming scripture. And um, I'm glad she quotes it because, of course, I was going to mention this as well. I don't have to now because she mentions it, so I'm going to read it here. This is the confirming scripture, which, of course, most of you already knew was coming. Psalm 91, verses 1 through 11. Okay. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will shield will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No, no disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I know we said we're going to go through two words. Um... But I feel that we should leave it right there. And the next time I bring um, Donna Rigney's words, I'll combine the next one with the one after that. So I'm just going to leave it at that because I think that the gem and golden nugget that I share with you is so important. I just want it to simmer and saturate. If you have to listen to it again and again and again, even if it's that little clip, oh God, it is so important. It will honestly transform your life. And if you learn to train yourself to rejoice over what God does for others, you will find that without even really trying, more of God will be evident, more of His hand will be evident upon your life and in your life and through your life. Amen? Wow. I really hope this blessed you and touched you. Let me know in the comments. All the glory belongs to Jesus. And Holy Spirit, thank you for how you minister to us, how you teach us, and you give us these in you give us these priceless jewels of wisdom and revelation and understanding. For it is so needed. In Jesus' name we give you thanks, Lord God. And we bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Look in the description below. Find out how you can follow Donna Rigdon Ministries. And my Telegram channel is right there as well. I highly consider you check it out. Amen. All right. I'll see you in the next video that is.